Okay, so the number one topic everyone has been asking me about is expected value. How to tell if you have the edge, what is it, etc. Basically, the casinos offer all the games, and in their mind, you're at an expected loss, which means every dollar that you put through, the casino over infinite sample size, that's expected value, will, will average returning X amount per dollar. So for some games like Kino, it's as high as 40% takeout. I've seen 40% losers in Kino, some slots, 20, 30% loser. Blackjack's pretty close to 100%. You can find 98, 99% blackjack. And in sports betting, at minus 110, you're a four and a half percent loser. So how do you have the edge if you're a four and a half percent loser? Getting an extra half point, cutting your juice down. You can chase steam, meaning the whole market's moving from six to seven, you can lay the six. So if you can get it and then everything's flat at seven, each half point worth four and a half percent, you're, in, you're instead of a four and a half percent loser, you're four and a half percent positive, if that makes sense stale numbers, um, basically parlay cards that the casinos don't update through the week, bad in, bad weather, um, players are scratches, etc. Those numbers will move and a lot of times they won't put a new number, they'll just leave the card out. So you can get an edge there. A lot of ways in sports betting, but definitely getting your money in good, having multiple outs, get all the bonuses that you can. You need to do all these things to go from a 4.5% loser to over 100%, meaning every dollar you bet through, you have an expected value of anywhere between break even to five, six, seven, sometimes 10% of a 10% edge, uh, depending on what you what you're betting. Keep following me for more tips, guys. I got you.